Eventos do Hoy, Escenarios del Mañana. Uh, and that brings a big and uh, very fundamental question into our debate, and that is that of uh, time, of the arrow of time, uh, from the past, uh, which is over, uh, to the present, uh, where we act as uh, people, as militants of social movements, or as capitalists of uh, capitalist enterprises, or as, uh, as state, state uh, functionaries. We have to act in the present, uh, in order to create uh, the future, and we have some Im imagination about the future, and these imaginations may be alternative, or they may not alternative. And uh, when we take this error of time into consideration, then we uh, find out that also uh, looking into the past, there is no alternative. Uh, the famous Tyna word of Margaret Thatcher, uh, Tyna, there is no alternative. Only uh, uh, by looking into the past, uh, by retrospective, there is no alternative. But when we look into the future, uh, there always are alternatives. It's, it's no future possible without alternatives. And that gives us a lot of hope uh, that we can change the situation in which we live in the future. There are possibilities, uh, and these possibilities uh, build on potentialities which have been created in the past, uh, which we can use in order to create, uh, to create uh, something else uh, compared to that what we inherited uh, from our parents and grandparents. There are alternatives. And looking into the future and looking into the potentialities, not only in the history as it is a, a, a sequence of events. Uh, yes, you can interpret the history as a sequence of events, but you can also interpret the history as a sequence of potentialities, and not only of events. And then you can take these potentialities in order to make them history in order uh, to make them uh, really uh, in the future. And that is the reason why the British historian uh, E.P. Thompson said that in history of uh, the capitalist system uh, there was always an alternative. There was always a so-called, he called it so, a moral economy and not only a capitalist uh, economy. A capitalist mainstream economy, without any doubt it was mainstream, a mainstream economy uh, which did not know alternatives, which did not know morality, which was following in the economy the principle of profits and accumulation of capital, and in politics the principle of uh, power and domination, and so on and so forth. And we can or, uh, analyze the whole dimensions of history in order to find out uh, this history uh, is that of no alternative, not that of the moral economy. But there was also and always an, a moral economy. Uh, Hobbs, uh, Hobbsbaum and especially uh, Edward Thompson uh, 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 demonstrated and this moral economy existed in forms of uh, cooperatives, uh, for instance. There were always cooperatives in the history of capitalism. Why were there cooperatives? Uh, first of all, because there were ideas about a different future uh, from the present and the past. A better future, a more cooperative future, not only a profit-making uh, future, there were a different alternative, progressive, we could also uh, say, uh, idea of another future, of an alternative uh, future compared to that what was uh, the past and what is uh, the present. A moral economy existing in form of cooperatives. And there was a cooperative movement in Europe in the 19th century in all countries. It was a cooperative movement also in Brazil. I know it 
uh, annoyed from it. I don't know whether it existed also in cooperative movement in the 19th century in Mexico, maybe. Uh, but in many other Latin American countries, there were cooperative forms of uh, managing uh, the economy, and not only capitalist forms uh, led by uh, transnational corporations, uh, for instance. Cooperatives existed. And this is uh, the reason, perhaps, why only three years ago, uh, in 2000, uh, I think it was 2013, uh, the United Nations uh, called the year 2013 the year of the cooperatives. And when the United Nations uh, define a year, uh, a year of cooperatives, a year of, uh, of women's liberation and so on, all that existed, uh, then they begin to count because uh, one wants to know exactly in the figures uh, what is it when we call this a year of cooperatives? And so I found out in uh, about, and, and, and they found out that about 800 million people in the world are working in cooperatives in different forms than that of normal capitalist companies. 800 people, 800 million people. And that means you have to multiply it at least with three, probably with four, in order to find out how many people are affected by different and alternative forms of managing the economy. And then you find out 3.5 million, uh, 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 billion. And that means that half of humanity is living in alternative forms and not in the dominant capitalist uh, organizations of multinational, transnational uh, corporations. So there are alternatives in the world. China is absolutely wrong. But on the other hand, in social sciences, uh, people began analyzing alternatives of uh, economic uh, organization in the world. And they found out uh, there are varieties of capitalism, varieties of capitalism. A trans uh, an Atlantic form of capitalism, uh, influenced uh, in, above all by the American mode of organizing capitalism and the British mode, therefore Atlantic form of capitalism. And then they found out, but there is also a Rhenish form, a continental, European continental form of capitalism, which is quite different from the Atlantic form. Uh, not so much based on shareholder value, but on cooperation and on including inclusive forms of uh, the, the workers, workers' uh, co-determination and all that plays a bigger role. But that are only alternatives in the capitalist uh, mode of uh, organizing uh, the economy, alternatives within capitalism. And the others, the cooperatives, for instance, are alternatives of capitalism already um, coming up into existence uh, within capitalism. That's uh, the dialectics and, and the, the, the contradictory development of these alternatives that they always and un inevitably have to uh, be built in within capitalism in order to overcome uh, capitalism. And that is uh, not so easy. Well, this kind of cooperative alternative, which was also present in, in the existent in the past, in the, in, in, uh, in the present today, they are very, very important. Uh, and then we have to make another uh, distinction. First of all, these alternatives come because of an utopian surplus, we could call it. Uh, because of new ideas beyond that what is uh, reality uh, today, in order to create something uh, new. And many people uh, followed utopian ideas and uh, tried to exploit this uh, utopian surplus uh, 
uh, which you find in uh, many layers of uh, our societies in Latin America as well as in Europe, uh, there is not so much a difference. There's a difference in as much uh, these alternatives are constructed or, uh, or idealized uh, or uh, imagined. That is very different. And uh, you find these alternatives, these utopian uh, ideas uh, everywhere, as I, as I said, uh, and uh, you find them also realized, but only when they are not only ideas of an utopian surplus, uh, but an answer, a response on challenges of the reality of uh, the crisis tendencies of uh, our times. And you find out when you follow this idea that there were alternatives always uh, emerging, coming up, uh, when capitalist uh, development was in a crisis. That was also in the 19th century the, uh, the case, that was in the 20th century so, and that is in the 21st century uh, not different from that. You find out in Latin America uh, that the solidarity economy, which is uh, uh, very real from Argentina uh, over the Andean uh, countries up to Mexico, uh, that the solidarity economy is an answer on the challenges of the capitalist crisis, so that capitalism is not able anymore to integrate the whole population, the whole working population in the productive process, then people try to find different and alternative organizations of their labor in order to survive. It's an economy of survival. It's an alternative economy of survival. And because it's an economy of survival, it is, the alternative is very, very often, too often, I would add, a precarious, precarious alternative, precarious way of organizing labor and organizing life. And we have that also in Europe. I will not speak at length about this. I think it is enough to understand uh, that alternatives not always are very productive and progressive and the best way to live for the population. Uh, they are precarious uh, forms which we have to take into account. And we have another problem to take into account. In uh, the years after the Second World War, uh, in the last century, uh, we had uh, the so-called, in French, Trente Glorieuse, uh, the economic miracle it has been called in Germany and other European countries. There was no idea of an alternative because capitalism was the alternative. The alternative to the socialist camp, to actually existing uh, socialism. So uh, the non-alternative of capitalist development was, it's the same token, also the alternative to the alternative to the alternative of the socialist camp uh, uh, beyond the uh, Berlin Wall. And uh, so there was no idea of an alternative because it was so complicated to organize it uh, in times where capitalism seemed to be the victorious social uh, formation. Why an alternative uh, to a social formation which is successful. You only need alternatives when it is not, su not successful. And this was also uh, uh, confirmed by the collapse of actually existing, existing uh, sociali uh, socialism in 1989, when the Soviet uh, system collapsed and so on, why thinking alternatives in such a, such a situation? Uh, but it needs on, needed only a couple of years and then we had to think again on uh, alternatives. Uh, because of the economic crisis, because of the debt crisis especially, beginning in Latin America in the 80s, beginning in Mexico, 18, 1982, in August, when the Mexican uh, debt crisis broke out. It was followed by the Brazilian break, uh, debt crisis and by the Argentinian one and so on, all Latin American countries and then also the African countries. 
and then the Asian countries uh, uh, felt into the debt crisis. Then, of course, uh, people were enforced to think about alternatives. Are there alternatives to that? And then there are many alternative, uh, alternatives necessary. First, organizing a new international order. After the collapse of the, the socialist uh, camp, uh, it was necessary to reorganize global capitalism in order to make it function. And uh, uh, that was not very successful, what has been developed in this, uh, the years after the collapse of uh, uh, the socialist camp and the years of uh, the debt crisis beginning already earlier in the 70s and, 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 and 80s. It was not very uh, successful on the international order, and it is not successful until uh, today. And uh, we can see this very clear uh, in the dynamics of uh, capitalist development, capitalist crisis development, because the debt crisis as an international crisis developed, uh, spread uh, from uh, the United States uh, and then from Latin America, it was a Latin American debt crisis, uh, to Asia, it became an Asian debt crisis in the 90s, uh, then it swept to the United States as uh, the subprime uh, crisis and the new economy uh, crisis at the beginning of the new, uh, mille new millennium, it's a new century. In 2001, it became an American, a North American debt crisis. And then it swept to Europe, to the old continent, uh, as a European uh, crisis, a Euro crisis. It became the crisis of a new, uh, 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 of, of uh, the new uh, European uh, money. And in Europe, it became particularly a crisis of the Mediterranean countries, of Portugal, of Spain, uh, and extremely uh, heavy in uh, Greece, and this crisis is not over until uh, today. And then we need, again, alternatives to that. Reorganization of the whole monetary and uh, financial system in uh, the world, and organizing survival on the local place and finding again the necessity to construct uh, solidarity forms of, econ of the economy and to uh, reassess uh, the uh, cooperatives uh, which have a long history but now, uh, nowadays are very important. So this is a movement which is very, very real and the alternatives are not only ideas, utopias, but are also realized utopias uh, uh, forms of economic management and social organizations which are not hegemonic uh, but they have an uh, impact in our societies from Europe to Latin America and so on and so forth. And then there comes another point which Birgit and others uh, already said. I'm, I'm very, very short. Um, what they, they stressed is that we are running out of uh, resources, especially of energy uh, resources, that we have to find and develop and establish is to realize a new energy model based on renewable energies. Uh, many people spoke about it, therefore I, have not, I must not um, uh, repeat all that what has been already uh, said, but that is, an, uh, that is a very important question because that means that the alternatives today on the one hand are the realization of the old idea of uh, Thompson that there are always uh, parallel history of uh, capitalist forms and of moral uh, forms and using the moral uh, dynamics and energies of people in the world to organize the economy. And we must build on this morality forms of uh, the economy. Uh, that is one element, one important element uh, of uh, the alternatives uh, today. 
And of course, this morality element, because it has to do with people, with concrete people, with their culture, with their language, and so on and so forth, say, will be different uh, in Mexico and in Germany and in other countries, uh, but they will have also very many uh, common ideas and uh, common forms. That is the first element. And the second element is that this solidarity economy must also be a solar uh, economy that is uh, based on the external energy source which comes from the sun and uh, no more from the crust of uh, the earth uh, because uh, when we uh, use uh, the uh, energy reserves in, our, uh, in the crust of the earth, uh, then uh, we will produce all these emissions which are well known, which uh, are responsible for uh, the climate uh, uh, crisis, which uh, may uh, become a climate catastrophe. Uh, we don't know it exactly, but we must be very careful. And therefore, again, uh, the alternative is on the one hand uh, the utopian over uh, surplus, which we have to take into consideration and use. And on the other hand, it is also a response to real challenges of the uh, dominant, of the hegemonic model of capitalist uh, development, an alternative capitalist mo model of development. And therefore, varieties of capitalism are not sufficient. We must also take capitalism into account when we will resolve the problems of our